So, been a while since I made a video. Just haven't been doing a lot of cars. It's been too hot, raining. I normally do freebies for people, but I haven't done a one in quite some time, except a coating for my, my friend and I. He got a new car. We polished <clears throat> and put uh, some optimum gloss coat on there. But lots of changes on my own vehicles. I'm not even going to try to, it, 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 it's not that dirty, but I do have bugs on here that I need to get off. More bugs are going to get off. I mean, it's, it's all shiny, but part of this is one reason why I want to show this because it is so shiny. Let me see where my thumb in here. It's so shiny and I'm not getting any marring that I used to get just b bugs and bird poop when it happens. Oop, let me see what that is. Not even many on the mirrors. Wife's getting ready to take a trip, so I'm gonna get the car cleaned up for her, get the get the tires cleaned up for. Her. Ew, mud. But it's still dirty. I mean, it's it's been driven in the rain uh, numerous times. But this car here, I, honestly, I don't. I used to have Optimum on here and some some Dr. Beasley something or other, something similar. So from here forward, hood bumper. I have now used a uh, PNS Legend. Just one coat, and then Defender about an hour later. I did all this on May 4th. It was uh, easy to remember because May the 4th, blah, blah, blah. The other car in the garage was coated with Legend, the entire thing, except the PPF part in the front. I didn't bother coating the PPF with an expensive coating like this. So I still actually have a little bit left over in case I want to use it someplace else or touch something up. More bugs. <clears throat> But so the front has PNS Legend, and then everywhere from the door on back is uh, so I'm, I, I kept with the Dr. Beasley since I didn't want to take my sticker off. So I put Dr. Beasley's on there, and I put 1201. 1201 is just so easy to put on there, and it does just as well. And you'll see, I'll, I'll spray the car here in a second on this side so you can see the difference between a uh, Legend and the uh. Dr. Beasley's, but so when I did a maintenance wash not too long ago, just to uh, do the toppers, I think I did on like on the July 4th weekend, <clears throat> again, about two months after coating it, um, I put, uh, I, I washed it and then I put a uh, uh, Defender, put Defender on the front since it had a Legend and I put uh, LS10, Nano LS10 from, from Dr. Beasley's on the whole back of the car, including the top. But the 1201 is a sheeter, and I put the LS10, the Nano LS10 from Dr. Beasley's. It's, it's also a sheeter. Kind of just keeping product with product. But sometimes I'll, I, I have it between that uh, two-month time period, sprayed these with, with something else. I, I put like a Optimum Instant Detailer and Gloss Enhancer on the whole car. But what I try to do, and it's just, you know, me doing it, I'll put Bead Maker on the front, and I'll put Bead Hero, or I will put some other... Dr. Beasley's product on the back, uh, back app, just to, you know, keep product for product to keep one part cheating, one part beating. But here we go. I'll just start right here just to show you. It's going to be the same on the other side too. And I'll get a little bit of the front, but there, okay, I'm back up now. So this, the hood on this car was constantly getting beat up, constantly getting little scratches and marrings and everything else from bugs. Just, it doesn't matter. I mean, just even looking at it wrong, it, it would scratch, it seemed like. Since putting the uh, PNS Legend on here, nothing. I mean, if it's on there, I can take it out just by washing it. And that's what I'm going to try to do now. I've, I've, I've purposely not washed this car for a bit. Believe it or not, I want to see if that etches. I want to see if some of this other, these other, like that one, I want to see if this etches or not. Every other thing that I've ever put on here would etch. I'm going to see if this does as well. But here's the difference between the legend on the front and Dr. Beasley's on the back. Guess I gotta stay on the top part of it. And this is before the wash, obviously, bone dry. All right, so sheeting pretty well. Look at that, it's almost dry already. The reason I like sheeting, they don't, you don't get many beads on your car. 
but that's what it looks like hanging on down here at the bottom hanging on down here but it's almost gone but there you go now here's the front big difference it's also got beads and getting dry and dry and dry I like the getting dry and dry and dry part of it but I wanted the the the, the, the super protection of uh, PNS legend on the front And I'll say right now that this car, that hood and bumper, after two months has never, never looked so good. So PNS Legend is going to be my go-to, I think, from this point forward on, a, on coatings for my own personal cars, and I'll offer for others. But for me, myself, I'm going to stick with PNS Legend. I'll, just don't know how long, how long I'm going to be owning any cars. The reason I wanted to put it on the car in there, because that's going to be our traveling car here come the end of September. We're going to jump in that car and just drive and drive and drive for quite some time because i will be almost retired hence the youtube channel name too close to retirement i'm going to be taking time off on the last few last month and a half of my working part and then my retirement date and we'll still be gone but there we go i am going to wash the car now with uh which is kind of funny i was like old stuff i've still got i actually put uh oh the sands if you don't have one of these Sands Club uh, buckets. I love that. Look at that. Liters and gallons right on the side. I love that. I've, in the past, I had to fill it up with, with gallon jugs and mark it. No longer. I like that. Sands, like four bucks. Anyway, in there's got uh, some doc, Dr. Gold, I think it's called. Uh, the, the chemical guy stuff. Or the, the, the gold stuff, obviously, Dr. Gold. And in here, I have oh, Adam's graphene shampoo so I'm gonna get to foaming and then I will rinse it and I'll if I have any left I'll foam a little bit more I'm gonna rinse it with Dr. Gold and then we're gonna see how the beading part on that same side beads if it if it doesn't hang tight just a tad bit too long there at the bottom there we go let me get started so this is after the whew, sweaty um Adam's graphene shampoo foam rinsed it and then i washed it with uh is it dr gold mr gold whatever that uh, popular chemical guys soap is but here we go i've already rinsed it but these hydrophobics on this legend after two months on this car if you go back and look at any of my other videos where i i, I show the front bumper and the hood and how it just changes it like just doesn't do this That's amazing. That is amazing. Plus, I mean, my wife was out here and she knew about all the bugs too because she's the one that put them on here. Well, I put on a couple. I had foamed it and then rinsed it. And she goes, looks like the bugs are gone. I was like, yeah. And I didn't even put any bug remover or anything. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I wanted this coating on there too to withstand everything I normally put on the car. But this is outstanding. Now, this is the door. I would rinsed the door already too. You can see the water hanging. Yeah, you, wait. No, I lost it. Try to look, there we go. There we go. And this one as well. It's about midway through the door. But let me go to the other side. I rinsed this off about, I don't know, three minutes ago. But the back is dry. This door is hanging on. But I've had it do that in the past. And then once I dry the car with whatever, I'll probably put instant detailer and gloss enhancer on the car too. Maybe bead maker. I don't, I, I don't know, whatever. But, but here's what it looks like. I'll just spray it so you can see what it looks like fresh. But because I used soap, I mean, I can dry it naked if I want to. 
but I'm not going to dry it without a drying aid. I get that though. Legend for the win. Legend is awesome. <clears throat> but if I leave this in here, it will eventually, like I said, just slowly sheet. But if I were to dry the car, which I don't, I'm not going to do, just by drying the car and then leave it sit out in the sun, you know, tomorrow when my wife drives it. So the next thing you're going to see is me outside spraying these same doors after a road trip without touching it just to see if, well, I'm going to dry it, obviously, just to see if, if it sheets faster than what it's sheeting right now. That front with Legend, amazing. The top here also has, uh, man, I forget every single time. The Dr. Beasley's as well. And I sprayed it a while back and it's dry, all except for a couple drops on the top here. But as you can see, it's kind of it's just a sheet of water. But it'll eventually just, it, it sheets, just sheets slow. Just like these doors are doing. A sheeter like that, obviously not in the rain, it's going to have drops on it. But, and I don't have DI water, but. That's that's amazing. I like how clean it is. All right, well, like I said, there's going to be one more part of this video. For you, it's going to be instantaneous. For me, it's going to be like three days. So stay tuned. Don't blame. Just like that, two days later. Car is still pretty, well, car is still really clean. This is literally just to show the, got my tires all cleaned up. They stay clean. That's nice. This is literally, I need to get the bugs off the front. Obviously, like I said, she was on a couple hundred mile trip, three, four hundred, five hundred mile trip, whatever it was. Bugs ain't too bad. All interstate driving, but I'll get that cleaned up. But this is just for this. Here we go. We're about to see the hydrophobics. And I did use just the Gloss Enhancer Instant Detailer. That's what I used as the drying aid when I dried the whole car the other day. I did put some bead maker on the front, but of course, it's bead maker and it's legend coating. Here we go. Here's what it would normally look like after a couple days of me drying it. So when it was hanging on the other day, like I said, not too worried about it because I know what it's going to do eventually. But look at that. It's practically dry. I could probably get spray this off. I'm going to wash though. I'm going to actually try to use that Mr. Mr. Not doctor, as I kept saying. Mr. <laughs> I forgot the name. Mr. Gold. I don't remember the name of it already again. But I'm going to use that Mr. Gold up. I'm going to bucket it and, and foam it. But that was it. There we go. Oh, might as well do the front too here. We'll go with the Legend and the bead maker. Yeah, see which one gets drier. I already know it's going to win, but that's why I like sheeting. I like the sheeting on the entire car, but where the car needs protection, protection, that's why I put Legend up here. So I'm sacrificing that, uh, I'll call it just self-cleaning on that part, like it is, versus the protection that this has been providing. <laughs> Like I said, that she went on a road trip. She left Saturday, came back Sunday. I'm sorry, she left on Friday, came back Sunday. Ah, she left Friday and came back Saturday. I'll get one of these times. There we go, them bugs are already almost gone. Hanging on a little bit. I'll get it rinsed off and foamed up probably just foamed up but there we go the hydrophobics <clears throat> just after one day of driving in the sun and being dried look at that that's amazing when you go to dry your cars like 14 drops instead of 4,000. There we go. Thanks for watching.